Recently, I decided to cave in and I bought myself HBO Max for a couple of months. Now, I know there's a huge stand against HBO Max, and a lot of people have their reasons why they don't want to support it, and everyone's entitled to their own thing. But, I personally decided to do it because... For personal reasons, I haven't been able to go to the movie theaters, and I don't really see any time within the near future going, at least until mid to late this year. So I figure I might as well get to experience some new movies without actually being able to leave. So that's what it comes down to. And so far, overall, I've actually been enjoying my experience with it. I feel that it really is a middle ground for Netflix and Disney+. Plus. Disney+, Plus has a lot more variety, obviously, and Netflix has a lot better mechanics, and I think that HBO Max has a good balance of both. But the reason I wanted to do a quick little review is I saw a documentary series. Now, a lot of people know that I do love documentaries. Specifically, true crime documentaries is more my taste. I'm not really too big into conspiracy theory ones or like those weird ones that you see all over YouTube. I primarily try to stick to true crime or try to see the deeper dives with actual things that we can learn from or things that have to do with nature or things like that. Along came a documentary called Heaven's Gate Cult of Cults. Now, for those of you that did not grow up in the 90s, this story may seem kind of far-fetched, but the story pretty much was that suddenly, in 1997, 37 bodies were found, and they were all a part of a cult who took a mass suicide together. They all wore the same uniform, they had the same clothes, they all were in the same home, and it was very ritualistic. And it actually became so crazy as the story was going on about this cult that essentially it kind of got lost in the wayside over the years of what actually led to this happening. And basically, it was written off as, well, crazy people be crazy, right? And this documentary actually was able to kind of show every instance of what actually happened, how it started, what caused these people to want to be a part of something like this, what actually evolved in the cult itself. Apparently, it didn't even really start as a cult. It more or less branched from wanting to do alternative thinking similar to Eastern philosophies. And it just slowly evolved and degraded and just changed over time that it just got weirder and weirder. And as the documentary unfolds, that story progresses and progresses and makes you more engaged as it goes on because it's one thing to actually have people speculate but as the documentary unfolds, two of the members of the Heaven's Gate cult actually are on the documentary that were somehow able to escape. And these weren't just like offhanded, they joined the last couple months. These people were from the beginning. So they've seen everything. They kept articles of things. One of them has such a psychological condition that he can't even speak properly. He almost sounds like he's choking when he talks because one of the cult leaders told him that he felt his voice was too intimidating. So he lost confidence in himself so much that he created a trauma unable to speak. That is extremely powerful to see, especially in a documentary like this. What I really enjoyed about it was they not only showed footage, photos, interviews, and things that they've never really actually released to the public. But what I really enjoyed was seeing some of the stuff done in an animation style. So their philosophy is essentially that we are not humans, we are vessels. And that your soul is your true self, and what we refer to as heaven is actually outer space. And you need to prepare your soul to leave your vehicle, as it's called to go into space on a spaceship. I know it sounds really weird, it's because it is, but it makes more sense when you watch it. It's so bizarre. First, I'm like, how could someone believe this? But as we've seen in the modern day news, it's really not that far of a stretch for cults to really be this intricated in the ether. There's even points in the documentary where it was near the end, where literally they were trying to recruit new members into this Heaven's Gate thing, and it suddenly, dawned on the people they were talking to that, yeah, this is a cult. Like, we know this is a cult. And that's funny that they were like that then, but now it seems like they've kind of gone in reverse. At least a mass majority of people are so easy to believe the unbelievable that it's become pretty much norm. 
And this documentary kind of does explain the mentality of wanting to join a cult. I feel that there's something deeper in here that maybe I can re-look at it later and use it for another material I'm thinking about. But overall, it was an extremely fascinating documentary. I highly recommend watching it if you're really into kind of seeing how basically the inner mind works as far as how someone can become susceptible to it. As the time goes on and as I'm watching it, I'm fascinated and fascinated more and more of how these people can believe it from the outside perspective. But as I hear from the people that were in it, it didn't seem to them that far-fetched. It seemed to them that these people were promising them something that was bigger than they were, which really is kind of what all cults are. But it's fascinating to really see something played out in such a good way. I highly recommend checking it out. It's about four hours altogether in length, but they're split into four parts. I really think that you would get a good enjoyment out of it, especially if you like philosophical discussions involving cults and what it is to actually be a part of a cult. The one thing I did enjoy the most about it was it finally put a human element to what actually happened at the Heaven's Gate mass suicide, which is still the largest mass suicide in US history. Heaven's Gate. Cult of Cults is currently available on HBO Max. Have you seen it? Have you seen anything that you think I should check out? Let me know in the comments down below. Until then, I'll see you next time.